So, let's start a few little more detailed tutorials on how to process the models after they've come out of Polycam and been uploaded to Sketchfab. You see this one's was the bull at Dallas Burston. This one's for sale for $14. And you need to have a nice thumbnail for each of them. So these ones below have got nice thumbnails to make them stand out. So let's start by doing a thumbnail for this bull. So we go up here to edit 3D settings and then it will load up, depending on your internet speed, it will load nicely into this window. If you can zoom in and out on this on this page, but if you have chopped the legs off, then we could add a shadow, but we'll do that on another one because this one's got a bit of grass on him. So we just angle it around, make a nice sort of what we think is the nice image that will look best. I try and fill the whole page with the image. Now left hand side here, I always go to post processing and I go depth of field, have a look, I don't normally do depth of field. So I'd normally put sharpness and vignette onto him. Um, you can see there's a few artifacts on here, but <clears throat> at the moment I can't crop those out because there's no like eraser tool yet. So angle him around and then just go save view. Now that'll save the thumbnail for you. And then you just press exit and then go back to the properties page on the page before. And then on this one, I've added these tags already when I was doing the upload. <coughs> but we can add a few more. So add photogrammetry, add some categories, animals and pets, sports and fitness, because it's a polo ground. And then here, I normally paste in a copy and paste from a previous model. So I'll just go over here and grab one, because I know that on this model, <clears throat> I can collect the text from down here. So I'll do this because it just adds more keywords to search for. Go back to Dallas Burston, bull, paste. Sometimes I add the word photogrammetry into the title. But let's just put 3D. Now let's press save. And then that is the first one done. Go back to view model. And then up here, click this and then go models comes back to the page and then we've got a nice thumbnail of the bull and that is the first one of how to add a good thumbnail onto Sketchfab once you've loaded your models up there. Now let's move on to this model the old water hand pump let's open a new tab to work on it Let's go into this and we'll do the properties first and do the paste. I always leave Polycam in there. Do the paste. It's already got tags. It's already got a price. Probably add the word photogrammetry into this. The price is still fine. 13. Let's change it if you want. 12. Um, let's add 3D up here. Press save. Go view model. Then we'll go edit 3D settings. Now, because this one hasn't got a load of base and I've cropped off the bottom, we can add a shadow to this one. So let's just turn it around while it loads to get the best sort of view that we think is the nicest view. Maybe just like that. Zoom in a little bit more. And now up here, we'll do the normal thing with the post processing. We'll do sharpness and vignette. Adds a nice background. We can also change the background color. On the first tab, background colour, we can change that to whatever we want. Let's just make it a little bit darker. Probably don't want to be too dark as you won't see the vignette or the shadow. I'll turn it bright just for now so we can see the bottom. If you watch around this area, you go to this one, second tab, lighting, you add the ground shadows, tick, and then baked AO, boom. Now it adds a little shadow at the bottom. I'll just go close and then I'll turn it on and off so we can see it. Looks really cool when it's on, but off is that and on is that. So really cool. Zoom out again, put it in the middle. I want people to be able to see the whole model when they're looking at the thumbnail. Save view, saving, saved, exit. And that is how you add 
the ground shadow to an object inside Sketchfab after loading it from Polycam. Now you can see this wall, did this wall model today, took literally about one minute to scan this. So right click, open in new tab so we can work on it. Edit the properties. Let's leave that in there, paste that. Categories, so here, I don't know, architecture. Um, and probably, let's do this one wall let's change it so let's put brick wall bricks polycam brick six pound for this wall let's change it let's go five five dollars go save view model edit 3d settings now with the wall we just want to show the whole of the wall. I actually like making the whole of the image fill the thumbnail. It just looks, just looks really cool. So on this, if we just do that, I mean, look, we can bring it back to here and do the sharpness and vignette, but I'm going to zoom in anyway, so you won't really see it. So now let's just save the view on that. That will look really good as a thumbnail. Exit. It pops in there, you can just see it. Models. Sometimes you have to refresh the page to make it load here. Keep refreshing. <laughs> hopefully it will load soon. I'll come back and hopefully that will load in a minute. But while we're doing it, let's just do one of these. Let's do the pudding from the Tilted Wig. Right click, open. The brownie. Brownie can load. We can probably turn this round so one of the better edges. Then we'll go 3D settings. This one will look good to add a shadow to it. So we'll zoom in quite a lot, make it in the center again, tilt it a bit, fill the screen with it, post processing, sharpness, and vignette. And then we'll just go to this one and add the ground shadow. <clears throat> added and then let it load the rendering time and then press save it should save it saved exit go back to models ah oh, the brick walls loaded yeah it looks really cool like that and then the chocolate brownie still needs to load so we'll try refreshing the page again hasn't loaded yet so let's do the belly pork dinner while we wait go to belly pork dinner Add the properties again. Food and drink and all the tags are done when I did the upload. Price, £12. Let's change it if you want. $11. Sorry. View model. Edit 3D settings. We're going to add the ground shadow again. This was a trick that Alban, who is the CEO of Sketchfab, sent me a message and told me how to do it and I was really pleased about that because it does add a lot when you add the ground shadow but you can only really add them if you've cropped up from the bottom. Let's do the ground shadow first. So click this, click that, baked AO, loads it in. Let's go post processing and do sharpness vignette. And then we'll do a save and it's saved. Exit. We'll close this down, look back at the model page, refresh the page, got the brownie, but the pork dinner is still loading. Nice little Zinga Tower. Let's delete this one. And there we go. There we go. Loaded. Looking amazing. Oh, on these ones, also add them to add to collection and go 3D food. And that adds the collection here. You can click this and then see all of your collections. Down here I've got my 3D food collection, which has now got 66 models in. All got amazing thumbnails. Yeah.
ask me some more questions and I will show you how to do things.